Welcome to Biz Roanoke. I'm Lisa Soltis with the City of Roanoke Department of Economic Development and today we have with us Wayne Bowers. Wayne is the director of the City of Roanoke Department of Economic Development. Hello Wayne. Great to be with you, Lisa. Thanks for being here today. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, Business Appreciation Month and Governor Terry McAuliffe declared May as Business Appreciation Month in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Can you talk to us about that a little bit? Yes, uh, the governor each year appoints uh, a month, picks a month, sometime a week, but uh, this year a full month for business appreciation. Mm -hmm. uh, he asks all the state agencies and local governments to recognize the important contribution that businesses make to our economy. In fact, they generate the jobs, the fact that they generate the taxes that support government. This year in particular, the governor is uh, stressing the fact that uh, our economy in Virginia is based a lot on the federal government and we need to em emphasize the private businesses and so that's what we're working on this month to honor our private businesses. And tell us what initiatives we are taking in the city of Runa to honor our local businesses. Well we will have a proclamation from uh, Mayor David Bowers similar to the uh, governor's proclamation. Mm -hmm. uh, it will recognize over 3,000 businesses here in the city of Roanoke and ask all of our uh, citizens to uh, uh, recognize again the important role that the businesses play in keeping our economy strong. Uh, each month we have a business breakfast. We invite 10 to 15 businesses uh, to meet with the city manager and talk about their particular business. And the culmination of those monthly breakfasts right. is our annual business appreciation lunch. Uh, this year we'll be having that on May the 27th mm -hmm. at Hotel Roanoke. Right. We'll be spotlighting one of our major employers, one of our big businesses, mm -hmm. uh, our only Fortune 500 company that is uh, based here in Roanoke, which is Advanced Auto Parts. Right. We'll have Bill Carter, the senior vice president from Advanced Auto Parts, talking about his company mm -hmm. and business as it relates to uh, operating here in the city of Roanoke. Fantastic. Well, we'll look forward to hear more about that. Um, tell us a little bit about how the city, um, how the, the role of economic development and how we help businesses in the city of Roanoke. Well, the role of the Economic Development Department is really to be the liaison mm -hmm. with all those 3,000 businesses. Right. Uh, any uh, company in our city that uh, has an issue with the city, uh, needs information, right. needs assistance, mm -hmm. uh, our role is to act sort of as the ombudsman, to work with those small businesses, large businesses, businesses that are not here but may be coming here. Uh, we do that through business, business visitations uh, to the uh, various businesses. We do that through the uh, uh, at providing information and again being the go-between between other departments. So any business that uh, has uh, an issue uh, with the city, please contact our department and that's our role. Wayne, who are some of the partners that work with the city of Roanoke in providing services to our local businesses? Well, we're fortunate here in Roanoke, we have a lot of good partners. Uh, uh -huh. Primarily, the uh, Chamber of Commerce, the Roanoke Regional Chamber of Commerce, located downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the advocates for business. Uh, they take uh, positions on different uh, issues that affect business. They also provide services that we can't provide as a governmental agency. Located exactly within the chamber is the uh, Small Business Development Center. Mm -hmm. uh, they provide technical assistance to small businesses and businesses that want to grow. Mm -hmm. Also in the chamber is the Small Business Financing Authority, a local office of a state agency that provides financing, which is often key to a business growing and prospering. The uh, Virginia Employment Commission uh, is a p good partner. They provide the employees, the employment services that are needed by our employers in, in this area. And then finally, our Economic Development Authority, an agency of the city uh, that uh, assists in providing uh, facade grants and other assistance to businesses. We are very fortunate to have a lot of different partners and uh, they join us in appreciating our businesses during May, which is Business Appreciation Month. Wayne, thank you so much for joining us on this pretty day and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Biz Roanoke. We're with Bart Smith. Bart is the director of the Small Business Development Center in Roanoke. 
Hi, Bart. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good. Talk to us a little bit about the small business, the Roanoke Small Business Development Center. Tell me what you all do there. Um, the Roanoke Regional Small Business Development Center, we're here to assist small businesses in pretty much anything they need, whether it's somebody wanting to start a small business, right. someone already in business, wanting to grow their business, develop their yeah. business. We help a wide variety of businesses, everything from you know your traditional mom and pop all the way up to 150 employees. Great. Um, talk to me a little bit about what a, a interested person, um, if they want to open a small business, mm -hmm. what are four things that they should do in the Commonwealth of Virginia to get their small business up and running? Well, I don't think it's necessarily specific to the Commonwealth of Virginia. First thing they need is a passion for what they're about to do. Right. You have to have passion for, for what you're trying to go into business for. Um, without that passion, there are going to be times that you're just not going to have what it's going to take to get through or over the hurdle that you're going to you're going to run into. The second thing is you need to determine if there's a market for what you're trying to do. You might think it's the greatest idea on earth, but if there's not enough people out there that demand your product or demand your service, you're going to hear crickets, and that's not a good thing. The third thing is acquiring enough uh, finances to make it to profitability. I see a lot of small businesses start out, they don't start out with enough money, enough working capital. Right. Businesses don't fail because they were bad ideas. A lot of them fail because they ran out of money before they reached profitability. The fourth thing I would suggest is surround yourself with a good team, and by that I mean have yourself a corporate attorney, a good banker, mm -hmm. a great accountant, and a strong strong insurance agent. Mm -hmm. that, those are the four things I would highly recommend someone do. Um, tell us what the Small Business Development Center can do to, or what type of services do you offer to individuals? Well, just like I mentioned those four things, what right. we do is we offer a lot of information, a lot of services, all in one place. Mm -hmm. The last thing we want is for a potential business in the Roanoke region to feel like a pinball. Right. getting tossed everywhere. Mm -hmm. So the SBDC is a wonderful uh, place to gain the information you need. All our counselors, most all, all of us, have been in business before. Mm -hmm. So we've had success, we've had really stupid failures. Right, <laughs> and right. so we can help you avoid those traps and kind of give you the information that's going to help you get started quicker and develop faster. And you all do some training as well. We do. Right. We have classes, we have seminars. Uh, the best thing about us is our counseling is free. There's no charge for it. That's wonderful. Very good news. And talk to us about some other resources that are out there that are available to individuals interested in starting a small business. Sure. We're really lucky to work with the uh, government entities we work with, mm -hmm. the city of Roanoke, county, all throughout the region. Right. Um, they all have wonderful resources and people that want to see businesses succeed here in the region. Right. There's also resources such as the SBA, Small Business Administration. Their website, sba.gov, is just a smorgasbord of information. It's a wonderful website. Good. Our state network, uh, virginiasbdc.org, we have tons of training materials, tons of information on that website. And so, you know, if a business is in business or getting ready to start, contact the SBDC. Let us help you out. Right. Let us show you some of the easier ways to kind of do some of the things you think maybe actually be hard. We've, we've been there. So it's the, the best first stop you can make. It really, truly is. Okay. Good. Thank you so much for being with us today. Hey, thank you, Lisa. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. We're with Levi Buck. Levi is the regional lead for Scale Up Roanoke. Hi, Levi. Hello. How are you? Just fine. Good, good. Thanks for being with us today. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about uh, Scale Up Roanoke and how that came about. So Scale Up Roanoke Valley is a small business assistance program funded by the federal SBA. Mm -hmm. uh, we provide three big things to existing business owners. Uh, we've got roundtable sessions we hold at the Grand & Collab mm -hmm. where all the business owners get together and talk about their issues, what they're going through, the challenges they're facing in their business. We bring in management consultants from all over the country to come in and talk to them in one-on-one -on -one sessions and really delve into their specific problems. Wow. And then we help them get connected to local resources, so banks, the SBDC downstairs, um, Roanoke Chamber, Great. everyone around here. All right, so you're located here in the Roanoke Regional Chamber building. Mm -hmm. um, talk to us a little bit about this program and how you think it uh, affects the city of Roanoke and economic development in the city of Roanoke. So we've made an effort to reach into various neighborhoods here around the city. We've touched some businesses in Melrose, Williamson mm -hmm. Road, 
uh, over near Carillion, um, all over downtown, anywhere you can think of in the city. Uh, our objective is to help these businesses hire new people, expand to new locations, uh, bring more jobs to Roanoke, Great. create a more vibrant business ecosystem here and build on what's here. And tell us about your work here. Um, how many businesses have you reached and how is that shaping mm -hmm. up for you this year? So we've been in contact with about 130 businesses overall, Fantastic. Uh, connecting them to resources if they don't fit for our program. Mm -hmm. uh, in our initial cohort, we had 11 participating businesses. We've right. got our second cohort kicking off on Tuesday, May 12th. Great. Uh, we've got about 12 businesses in that group. Mm -hmm. So 23 total businesses will be through the program. Very good. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and lastly, talk to us a little bit about the future growth of the program in Roanoke. And how many mm -hmm. of these programs are there in existence? So there are eight scale-up programs across the country. Mm -hmm. There were 60 applicant communities, and Roanoke was selected as one of them. So wow. it's a pretty exciting, uh, yeah. exciting thing. Uh, we've got one year guaranteed funding. We actually found out we've got our second year. Potential to be here for five years. Great. Uh, we're looking to expand all over the Roanoke Valley and touch businesses all over. Mm -hmm. uh, we've engaged with all of the different regional champions, so City Economic Development, the Chamber, um, CoLab has Great. been a big help. So we're just looking to, to touch more people and get more people involved. Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time today mm -hmm. in educating us on Scale Up Roanoke. And um, we appreciate it. And we'll be right back. If you need more information about Business Appreciation Month or economic development information in general, please give me a call. My number is 540-853-1694 or you may email me at lisa.soltis at roanokeva.gov.